Hey guys, it's Nat. I am here on the beautiful High Line in New York City and I just left the Chic and Kinky Naturals Night Out um, event and I have a bone to pick with uh, the organizing party. Um, came to the event, I purchased my tickets ahead of time and I got here, I came in, gave my name, I was given a ticket that's supposed to be for the raffles and then I received this. It's an empty bag. An empty bag. And I cannot tell you guys how disappointed I am. When you sign up for this event, and I came last year, and um, I actually had video of when I came last year. It was a great event. I really liked it. And I even convinced one of my friends to come this year because I was like, you know, it's such a good event, and they give you such great um, swag and all this stuff, and nothing like that this year. I was really, really disappointed. Um, my friend who came with me showed up purchased the ticket in person they told her that she could purchase her ticket and then proceeded to hand her this an empty bag empty bag I am very displeased um, I don't understand how you can possibly have an event and say that you know you're going to get all these you know you there's these classes or whatever then there's um, swag bags um, and then of course, you know, if you guys went, if anybody went to it last year, they gave out cupcakes and drinks. Um, they had an open bar last year, um, unlimited drinks this year. They had little plastic cups on the table filled this much with, I don't know what it was. I think it was like sparkling wine or something like that. And then they had, um, these little baked by Melissa cupcakes and that's all they were offering. And like I said before, an empty bag. I don't understand how someone can pay $25 to come into an event and get an empty bag. I think that it's wrong. I think it's dishonest. I don't understand how you would let someone into the event knowing that you have nothing to give them and you have them pay $25 and tell them, oh, well, you know, we gave out all the swag bags already. So everyone that came in, even if they didn't purchase a ticket ahead of time, got a swag bag when they came in and they purchased their ticket. I have a problem with that. I'm an event planner, so I basically know how this works out. I really don't get fooled much and I you know I think that this is poor planning I also believe that if they knew they didn't have enough for everyone who came in what they should have done was taken the names of the people who had purchased ahead of time and put aside their bags and then when you walk in you get a bag or how about getting your swag bag when you leave the event? That's usually the normal thing to do. That's normally what people do is you get your bag once you leave the event. Um, really, really disappointed. I try to support as many businesses as I can. Um, I love going to these types of events. And when you are treated in a way where literally you've someone has stolen from you, and that's what I feel happened today. I think a lot of people had their money stolen from them and promised something that was not going to happen. And this is unacceptable. I don't understand. I mean, they even said it was a larger space and they talked about all these vendors. There were like hardly any hair vendors there. Everyone sold mostly like accessories and purses and clothes. Um, it was really bad. I mean, it was just an overall bad event it wasn't done well it wasn't put together well and I think it was a disservice to every single person that paid and I'm talking about people who paid and got a swag bag they were still unhappy with what they got and you know I think that they have to do better and I think that people need to call them out on it because it's absolutely unacceptable um, I have some words from my friends that came with me so we would like to share this with you Hi, Social Cam. Well, this is my first, what is it, Chicken and Kinky? Naturals Night Naturals Out. Naturals Night Out event. Um, I came because my friends went last year, and they always go to like such great events. So I was really excited to see what this was like. And I came in, and I paid my $25. And um, later on, I came back to the desk where I paid to ask, well, what did I pay for? 
And that's when she said, oh, well, we don't have anything else. So basically, I was coming in off the street as there were other people coming in off the street, and they were taking their money knowing that they had nothing to give them. When you go to the different uh, desks where people were selling products, that's not free, it's not cheap. You know, you'd have to pay for anything else that you were gonna get. Um, and I just, I did find it to be thievery because if you know that you don't have something to give, if you know that, I mean, what did we pay for? Were we paying for the event space? Because I know that the vendors are also paying to sit there and to be able to sell their wares. Um, one good thing that they did have was that they had massages that you could pay two dollars extra for but if you're thinking about it you can go anywhere and get a 10, 10 minute massage for a lot less than twenty five dollars or twenty seven dollars is what's the case um, then uh, when I did ask them somebody you know I tried to be very respectful about it she was just like well this is all that I have and in her bag she had some some samples of I don't even know if these are things that I would put in my hair some samples of things that, here here they are this is what I was given. And as to even the cupcakes, when we were leaving, we saw that they still had cupcakes under the table. Apparently they weren't giving out everything even that they did have to give. So that concerns me because, I mean, it's in good faith that people are coming out. When you're paying $25 at the door to enter someplace, you, there's the good faith that there's something in there worth paying the $25 for. And I would have to say that this was not worth it. It was my first experience. Um, and I wouldn't come back. I really wouldn't come back. Jay, do you have anything you want to say? I just think that at the end of the day, it's just really unfortunate. You know, I feel like no one really benefited from this if you really think about it. Um, not even I feel like the vendors did because, uh, okay, so you pay $25, all right, fine, but then let's just say you want to get something else and it's like, well, I pay my $25. Is it even worth me, like, you know, purchasing a product that I really don't know about, you know? especially if I didn't get like a sample of it, you know what I mean? Um, I just think like this honestly was a waste of time. Like last year was so amazing. How did you go from having an amazing event to go back down? Obviously, you know, you, you should understand and accommodate for those things that, well, the first year was a, a success, so let's do it again a second year. All right, so the second year, obviously, you got more people to come and you got more vendors, okay third year now that there's a lot of people about it and some buzz and now you even go into other cities maybe you should be prepared for the additional people that would be coming whether it's off the street or paid in advance I mean I just feel like at the end of the day the only people that benefited were Sheik and Kinky and the people that work for them and the people that are going to walk away with the other swag that they got um, from the different vendors and the extra Melissa's cupcakes that were underneath the table. I mean, like, it's not like we wanted, like, you know, more cupcakes. I'm just saying, if you have a complimentary item, then you need to give out that item. You don't hoard it for yourself. Why? That doesn't make sense. You know, you're, this is a service. You're giving people a service. And I just felt like even the young lady who handed, um, my friend the products is like she didn't want to do it and furthermore why do you still have samples that doesn't make sense why didn't you just give us all the samples really you didn't pay for it you know what I mean like it's, it's really unfortunate these are the issues that you know really kind of discourages you from trying to go to certain events if you know what I mean so there you have it what would you say to the people so guys, you know, um, like I said, we're really disappointed and I hope she can Kiki yeah, see this um, because this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. One more thing. And for anybody who's going to another one of these chic and kinky events, I think there's one coming up in DC. in DC. I would say keep your money because if it's more of what we had today, you know, it's not about trying to really just tear people down, but it's really looking out for other people don't go you can spend your $25 on something else you can actually go online or go to some of these stores that sell these products and actually pay for it rather than spend $25 and on top of it you'd have to spend extra to actually get a product so don't go that's what I would do so guys that you know like I said that's that's how we feel about it um, sorry the Sun is all up in my face um, sorry there we go um, so, like I said, we're very disappointed. Um, you know, she did end up handing me a couple of little samples. Um, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. And, you know, 
I think that Shink and Kiki need to release an official apology to every single one that was slighted today and um, you know try to do better you know try to do better you know if you are not a professional event planner try to get one because there's things that can be done to contingency plan so that you don't have to you don't have to go through this so that people don't say negative things about you and what you do and everyone leaves your event happy like I think that that's the important thing here is to make sure that everyone remains happy um, and leaves with a good taste in their mouth so they want to come back so they want to tell their friends to come back and you know um, enjoy themselves at this event so anyway guys uh, after that crazy rant all I'm gonna say is I am wearing my natural hair today I used uh, Hicks two products from Hicks and um, I have it it's kind of hard to see but I just did bangs and a fluffy bun I know you guys can't probably see it but this is my hair today and um, my earrings are Melanie Marie I love these earrings I posted them on Instagram and um, oh my sister's wearing Melanie Marie bracelets can you see it I love these and then uh, my friends wearing some earrings by you love so that's what we have on today guys and um, you know I will be doing a haul video on my Melanie Marie jewelry that I purchased because I really do like her stuff and I think that's it um, comment if anybody else came here today and had a bad experience I really want to know what your experience was please upload a response video or put your comments um, down below uh, I would totally appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy your Saturday because I'm gonna go try to make the best of it and enjoy the High Line and I'll show you guys for those of you who don't live in New York this is the High Line it's so hard to see but this is Manhattan and this is our lovely skyline and it's like a really cool walkway so I'm gonna go enjoy it with my sister and my friends and try to make the best of today alright you guys take care love you guys bye